Hello there once again. Welcome to exam review 3. This time we'll be doing problem 5. And in this problem they ask you to write the polynomial below in transformation form and find the vertex. First let's talk about transformation form. Transformation form is going to be y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And our mission will be to find a, h, and k using this polynomial that was given to us. So in the first position next to x squared, they've actually already given us a. That's just going to be 2. We also have b, negative 20, and c, positive 3. In order to find h, we're going to use the vertex formula. The vertex formula says this, h is equal to negative b divided by 2a. Now our b was negative 20, so we'll have negative of negative 20 on top, and then 2 times a, which was 2, on the bottom. So on the top we have positive 20, on the bottom we have 4, 20 divided by 4 gives 5 as our h that goes in this position. Now our next mission is going to be to find k by plugging in x equals 5 into the polynomial. So in this polynomial we'll say k equals 2 times 5 squared minus 20 times 5 plus 3. So let's do the math. 5 squared is 25, so we'll have 2 times 25. 20 times 5 is 100 plus 3. If we simplify a little bit further, we'll have 2 times 25 is 50 minus 100 plus 3. This will give us negative 47. So the k is negative 47. So in transformation form, we'll have y equals 2 times x minus 5 squared minus 47. That answers the first part of the question. Now our vertex is just going to be h comma k, which we already have. We know h is 5 and k is negative 47. So our vertex will be 5 comma negative 47. Let's solve the rest of the problem now. We'll do problem 5c and 5d. First we are asked to find the interval over which p is increasing and then determine two symmetric points. To find the interval let's first draw a picture. Our vertex was at 5 comma negative 47. So we'll go to the right a little bit and way way down. We'll label that point here 5 comma negative 47. And then our parabola should open upward. So we'll draw an upward opening parabola. And we can split this parabola into two pieces. We're going to split it right there at the vertex and label this piece A and we'll label the other side piece B. So in region A, as we go from left to right, we notice that the Y value is going down. Or as we say, decreasing. We can say that this region A goes from negative infinity to 5. However, in region B, starting from this 5 and going on to infinity, y is going upward and it's going to keep on going upward all the way up to infinity. So in piece B, y is increasing. And we'll say the increasing interval is 5 to infinity. Notice we 
do not use brackets here, we just use parentheses. Now for the last part of the problem, we were asked to determine two symmetric points. And we are going to use our transformation form to do that. So recall that our transformation form was 2 times x minus 5 squared minus 47. So our vertex was at x equals 5. There's a lot of different ways we could determine two symmetric points, but the easiest way is to try going one lower than 5, that's 4, and also try x equals 6, which is one higher than 5. So we go one to the left and one to the right, and that will give us our symmetric points. So let's try 4 in there. So we'll have y equals 2 times 4 minus 5 squared subtract 47. Let's do the math here. 4 minus 5 is just negative 1. Squared gives positive 1. We'll have 2 times 1 minus 47. If we do the operations here, we'll have 2 minus 47, which is negative 45. So our first symmetric point is going to be x comma y. The x we had was the 4. The y that we ended up with when we did the math was negative 45. Now let's try x equals 6. What should happen is that we should get the same y value. Let's find out. We'll have y equals 2 times 6 minus 5 squared minus 47. If we do the math, 6 minus 5 is just 1 squared is still 1. So look what we have here, 2 times 1 minus 47. We already know that's negative 45. Again, our answer is going to be x comma y. The x we used this time was 6. And the y we ended up with is still negative 45. So these two points we came up with here, 4, negative 45, and 6, negative 45, are our symmetric points. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.